Bruce Willis has a progressive brain condition you may not have heard of after retiring from acting in March 2022 due to a speaking disorder called aphasia. Bruce Willis, 67, has since been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia, his family announced Thursday. Since we announced Bruce's diagnosis of aphasia in spring 2022, Bruce's condition has progressed, the Willis family noted in a statement. Unfortunately, challenges with communication are just one symptom of the disease Bruce faces. While this is painful, it is a relief to finally have a clear diagnosis. Frontotemporal dementia, or FTD, is a group of disorders caused by a buildup of tau and other brain cell-destroying proteins in the brain's frontal lobes, behind your forehead, or temporal lobes, behind your ears. The condition typically strikes between the ages of 45 and 64, according to Alzheimer's Research UK. The most common dementia for people under 60, FTD can cause challenges in communication, as well as changes to one's behavior, personality, or movement, according to a statement from the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration. People with FTD typically live six to eight years with the condition, according to the U.S. National Institute on Aging. Between 10% and 30% of FTD cases are inherited. Other than genetics, there are no other known risk factors, although researchers are investigating what role the thyroid and insulin may play in the onset of the disease. Bruce Willis is an American actor, producer, and musician. Bruce Willis was born on March 19, 1955, in Oberstein, West Germany. He is best known for his role as John McClane in the Die Hard film series. Willis began his career on the stage, and made his film debut in the 1980 film The First Deadly Sin. He rose to fame in the 1980s with his role on the TV series Moonlighting. Willis has appeared in over 70 films, including Pulp Fiction, The Sixth Sense, and Armageddon. He won an Emmy Award for his guest role on the TV series Friends. Willis has also done voice work for animated films like The Rugrats Movie and Over the Hedge. In addition to acting, he has also released several albums as a musician. Willis has been married three times, to Demi Moore, Emma Hemming, and before that to actress and model, Brooke Burns. He has four daughters and one son.